Hi guys. It is a cool, pleasant morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here at Bugs in a Jar Farm outside of Ithaca, New York. Um, where are we? Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. It is 11-11. 11-11 on Wednesday, September 2nd here uh, at Collapse Chronicles. I am Sam Mitchell. This is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. And since it is a rainy day, you guys might be in for a real treat. You might get a double dose of uh, doom and gloom on this gloomy day. Uh, but we're going to... Let's go... With the good old Guardian right here on the mainstream media news, I have been complaining about how hard it is to find any news of the Amazon wildfires on the mainstream media, and I have to hand it to the Guardian. Uh, this might be the single most honest, unflinching assessment of what's going on in the Brazilian Amazon as anything I've ever read. I am proud to say there is no trace of apocaloptimism or hopium in this article. It is what is going on in the Amazon rainforest is entirely hopeless. The Amazon rainforest is in flames. It is going down the toilet. Uh, and anybody who lives there knows it. Anybody looking at the satellite imagery knows it. The Guardian knows it. And they're just uh, admitting they're raising the white flag on the Amazon rainforest. So this is kind of like a bid farewell to the single most important ecosystem on this planet as humans, led by Jair Bozo Nero, continue their all-out assault against this planet. Uh, okay, and good for Yahoo News running this also. All right. <clears throat> Amazon is condemned to destruction. That is exactly what it is. Amazon rainforest, not Amazon.com, is condemned to destruction as fires proliferate across Brazil. All right, let's get our taste of reality. <clears throat> Jair Bozo Nero smiles down from a propaganda billboard at the entrance to this scruffy Amazon outpost, welcoming travelers to his, quote, route to development. But 20 months into Bozo Nero's presidency and a year after a devastating out outbreak of Amazon fires caused global outrage, one week ago this week, you might remember, <clears throat> the fires are back, and many fear Brazil's leader is instead steering his country toward environmental ruin. During a two-hour monitoring flight through the skies around Nuevo Progreso, the Guardian saw giant columns of white and gray smoke rising from supposedly protected forests below. Elsewhere, illegal gold mines could be seen within the Bau indigenous territory, a chaotic tapestry of muddy pools and makeshift encampments where pristine forest once stood. Newly deforested areas of fallen and charred trees were invisible within the Iriri Protected Forest Reserve. Okay, uh, this is an anonymous official. I bet it is. Uh, quote, the Amazon is condemned to destruction, despaired one former top official at Brazil's enfeebled environment mental agency, Obama, 
accusing the far-right populist of overseeing a wholesale demolition of protection efforts. Quote, under this government, there will be no combating of rainforest destruction. The future looks dark. Yes, it does, and so does the present. Under pressure from foreign investors, governments, and Brazilian business leaders to avoid a repeat of last year's scandal, when celebrities and world leaders, world leaders such as Leonardo DiCaprio, okay, uh, according to The Guardian, Leonardo DiCaprio has now been proclaimed a world leader by The Guardian. Yes, world leaders such as Leonardo DiCaprio and Emmanuel Macaroni condemned Bozo Nero's treatment of the Amazon. Brazil's government has gone on the offensive. Offensive is certainly right. Uh, as I, as this, I've quoted several times, Bozo Nero insisted earlier this month, quote, this story that the Amazon is going up in flames is a lie. Hmm, despite growing evidence to the contrary. And then we have, they take you to, there's, this is a clump of stories, and then there's a link to the next story in this series titled, Chaos, 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 A Journey Through Bozo Nero's Amazon Inferno. I'm going to put the link to this story that I'm sharing, and you can go on uh, and read the related stories about the chaos, chaos, chaos. Anyway, in May, in, in May of this year, thousands of troops were deployed to the Amazon as part of a military mission supposedly designed to cut environmental crime, but some claim is making things worse, which is exactly what they're doing. Send in the military to protect the environment is like sending in Sancho Panza to protect the chipmunks. Yes. In July, as pressure from international investors intensified, Brazil announced a four-month ban on burning designed to reassure the world something was being done. And apparently it's working because uh, this is the, you know, the first time that this story is broken through to the mainstream media when a year ago this was one of the biggest stories on the planet. It needs to be the biggest story on the planet every year. But of course, we're not going to go into the reason why this gets one mention on the top 100 stories of the day in the mainstream media, while another subject gets about 80. <clears throat> anyway, but satellite imagery being gathered by Brazil's own space agency suggests those efforts, you know, this horseshit fire ban, are falling short. In August, it detected more than 7,600 fires in the state of Amazonas alone, one of nine states making up the Brazilian Amazon, the highest number of fires there since 1998, and nearly 1,000 <coughs> more fires than last year. <coughs> On Tuesday, the agency announced that across the entire Brazilian Amazon, it had detected more than 29,307 fires in August, which is the second highest number, you know, after last year and a decade, and only slightly less than last year's record figure of 30,900 fires. Greenpeace 
has calculated that despite the military mobilization and the burning ban, there had been only an 8% in reduction in fires between mid-July and mid-August compared with last year. This is Romulo Batista, a Greenpeace campaigner in Manaus, quote, we are watching last year's tragedy repeat itself. During a recent surveillance flight over four uh, Amazon states, Batista also witnessed shocking scenes of devastation. Quote, we saw tracts of pasture that were burning, deforested areas that were burning, areas of forest that were burning, and it was obvious that down there in the forest below us, nobody was staying at home because of corona panic. I don't understand that sentence. I, 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 I honestly don't understand that part of the, his comment. Nobody was staying at home because of corona panic. Huh. Everyone, but this, this is the point for anybody who does not realize it, everyone, illegal loggers, land grabbers, illegal miners, they are all up and running and even more so than usual, safe in the knowledge that government inspections have been scaled back because of the pandemic, close quote. And then there is a link to an article talking about this, uh, which nobody understand that nobody on this channel wants, wants to hear about it. Uh, but you, if, you, if you are one of the few people uh, interested in what's really going on, the links between uh, Amazon deforestation and the corona panic, how the corona panic has ramped up deforestation all over this planet. Uh, it is time to stamp out the myth that logging is declining because of the corona panic. There is a link to another article for the tiny few people interested in that, but since I realize nobody listening to me wants to hear another word about it, we're going to move along. <clears throat> A monitoring official from the Indigenous Environmental In Group, Instituto Kabu, <clears throat> said, quote, There has been a flagrant increase in illegal mining and logging activities in the last two years. <coughs> you know, referring to since Bozo Nero took over. <clears throat> The lack of inspection operations by Obama and the federal police in this region has ended up encouraging environmental crimes in indigenous territories, close quote. <clears throat> I love this name, Bep Prati Megranati Ray, a chieftain for the indigenous Kayapo people said his communities were paying a heavy price for the government's anti-environmental stance. Quote, what Bozo Nero's <coughs> development means is destruction within our reserve, close quote, uh, said Bep Prati, who recently led a week-long blockade of an Amazon highway cutting through, uh, you know, his land to demand protection. Good luck. He called for urgent action to monitor and protect the region's forest and the wildlife within. Uh-huh. So if you want more on this, they, then they go into another side story titled, he wants to destroy us. Bozo Nero poses the gravest threat in decades, Amazon tribes say. So you can, if you go on this link, 
you can go on and read about how Bozo Nero uh, is killing all the Indians. <clears throat> all right. The chieftain said two models of development were currently facing off in the Amazon. The development of destruction and the sustainable, that was the Guardian's words, not the Chieftain's words, sustainable development of construction and knowledge. Environmentalists are clear which model Bozo Nero, who took office in January 2019, vowing to open the Amazon and its indigenous reserves to development, is pursuing. This is Carlos Riddle, a Brazilian environmentalist, blah, blah. Okay, quote, This is without doubt the worst moment in more than 30 years that we are facing in Brazil, and unfortunately it was entirely expected because Bozo Nero was elected thanks to his anti-environmental rhetoric, and now he is making good on those promises. The feeling is one of desolation. 2020 is going to be a terrible year. Well, it's already been, and 2021 will be every bit as bad. <clears throat> The former Obama official, I guess this is Mr. Riddle, <clears throat> uh, was pessimistic, claiming its operations were, quote, completely paralyzed, and Brazil's environmental policies are in tatters. And I love, I've always loved that word, tatters. <clears throat> the organization reeling from years of cuts, <clears throat> had only six helicopters to police the Amazon's 2.1 million square miles, and now have plans to take two more of those out of service. Having four choppers, that's so uh, each chopper is responsible for patrolling 500,000 square miles of Amazon rainforest. <clears throat> Oh uh, yeah. Quote, if you ask me to fight deforestation, we would need at least 12 choppers. No, you would need 1,200 choppers. Uh, last week, Brazil's environment minister announced that all anti-deforestation operations were to be halted, although that was reversed after an outcry. Riddle called the latest fires, which are likely to continue until October, a tragedy foretold and the consequence of, quote, a government with absolutely no commitment to the environment. Under Bozo Nero, Brazil is becoming perhaps the greatest global enemy of the environment. It is so sad to see a tiny number of people grow very rich with this and all of us lose. Close quote. Thank you, The Guardian. We have no happy ending in the uh, Brazilian Amazon as all of us lose. I wonder how many people are lining their pockets. How many total people, obviously, Bozo Nero. Uh, I'm assuming there's some sort of kickback to Donald Trump if you don't dig too deeply. Uh, you know, Amazon.com, you better believe, is that Jeff Bezos is making money off of this. Uh, there, there's a bunch of these new billionaires in China uh, my guess is more individuals in China 
are are getting rich off of this destruction than anywhere else on the planet, more than in Brazil itself. Uh, but anyway, I think we get it. As I say, I'll put the link to this story, and you can go on and read about the chaos, 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 and the all the rest of it. But with that, it seems to have stopped raining, so I'm going to make a run to raid my local creek of, uh, of some rocks. And while I'm out, uh, I'm going to do a video of what's going on less than one mile from this house in a protected New York State forest. Uh, what's going on, but you will have to find that video elsewhere in the Doomosphere. I will be back later. What do we have next up on the list? Uh, if you enjoyed this Doom and Gloom, but want some more, we're going to head over to War on the Rocks for this article titled there is no containment strategy for climate change coming up in a few hours. Is that a chippy? Is that a chippy or not? Is that the squirrely? Is that that squirrely up there in the tree like that? I think you need to go get that squirrely like that. I see that squirrely out the window like that. Bye, guys.